Just that make humans need air, and soil can't function without air. Now, if you look at this here, um, that is some of the richest soil in Europe. Uh, last year, when I left in September, Italy was ploughed up like this. And that looks like rock, not like soil. This is as hard as a rock. No air and no water can get in. Um, we have watched uh, the biodynamic farmers in Australia for decades that when it has rained, on our farms there is never water. On neighboring farms, water lies for days. Euh, dans sa ferme, quand il pleut, euh, l'eau pénètre, alors que dans d'autres, euh, l'eau euh, qui, qui ne suit pas les mêmes méthodes que lui, l'eau euh, reste en surface et ne, ne va pas dans le sol. A river system like the Danube, um, maybe 20% of the water belonging to that system is to be seen in the river, flowing in the river. 80% is in the soil up to 200 kilometers either way. Il parle du système fluvial du Danube où il dit que seulement 20% de l'eau est à l'intérieur de la rivière et que du fleuve et que les 80% qui restent sont de chaque côté sur le rivière. And a university in Australia at our request researched the water intake capacity on biodynamic big farms and compared it to the capacity on conventional farms next door, identical soil. And as just one test to another does not say uh, very much to the average person, I asked them to work out over 160,000 square kilometers a, an inflow into our main river, the Murray, uh, 100 mil per week, uh, all soils biodynamic or all soils conventional. Euh, il a parlé de, sa, de la rivière principale de la région de Victoria, qui est le, la rivière Murray, et, il, et il, ils ont fait des études sur le... Sur, sur euh, 160 000 km de, de, de terre, où donc il y avait des terres en conventionnel et des terres en biodynamie. Et voilà, c'est où Go on. Uh, yeah, to me measure the difference. Oui, pour mesurer la différence. Mesurer la différence d'absorption en, en eau. Um, our soil on biodynamic farms took in enough water uh, as required for one summer flood irrigation of an area as large as the Po River irrigation system, the biggest in Europe. Oh. One week rain of 100 mil provided enough water uh, for one summer irrigation. Une semaine de pluie donnait 100 mm d'eau et c'était une semaine de pluie était suffisante pour les approvisionner en eau pour toute une toute toute année. Well, on the conventional farms um, the bulk uh, over 90% of the water ran off as a flood. That is the reason why we have so many floods in recent uh, decades. At the moment in the Ukraine and into uh, eastern uh, Russia, east of the Ukraine, where there has never been flooding.
Il dit qu'il pense que c'est une des raisons principales pour lesquelles il y ait des, des inondations aussi importantes, non seulement en Australie, mais en, en, dans l'Ukraine, où avant il n'y avait jamais eu autant d'inondations en ce moment. Uh, Maria Luisa Forenza, a uh, uh, well-known Italian filmmaker, came to Australia and did one month filming, and then we did two months filming um, lectures at universities in Italy and farms, and there was one film about my farm. Uh, il dit qu'une productrice uh, italienne, uh, Maria Luisa Sorenza, uh, uh, est venue filmer uh, sur sa ferme et ensuite a fait une tournée pour montrer uh, ce qu'elle avait constaté. Uh, these films are available in uh, English and Italian. Uh, the French have never translated any of my lectures. They're also widely available in other uh, languages. Translated in French. There's a whole lot. We can discuss that later. Now, conventionally, uh, well, first I have to say, no university, no government uh, agronomists, um, either conventional or the ant anthroposophists in, in Germany, had any idea of this happening to the soil. They are not enough in contact with the real soil. They only talk in theories, uh, in words, but have no contact with <coughs> with the soil. None of them knew this. There is big talk about the water problem of Earth. This is the major contributor to the water being in the oceans instead of in the soil. Il, il dit que selon lui, euh, aucun euh, agronome, aucun expert dans les euh, universités euh, en Europe ou ailleurs euh, n'avait euh, reconnu le problème qu'il qu a lui-même expliqué. Euh, et il dit que c'est une des raisons pour laquelle la plupart de l'eau, elle finit dans les océans plutôt que dans la terre. Um. In the Italian version, uh, you hear professors answering or senior agronomists of the government and saying, we must do something. Il dit que maintenant, les experts agronomes sont conscients du problème et ceux dont ils parlent, qui sont en Italie, ont admis qu'ils devaient faire quelque chose pour résoudre le problème. But worldwide, the politicians fight each other, even in their own party, and waste the money they take from us, and they don't do the essential things. Now, conventionally, you see, that bulldozer was necessary, and a road ripper to rip up the road, to break this soil. You could not plow it anymore. Mm. Et le, le bulldozer était là pour euh, défoncer une route Non, en fait, euh, il était là pour casser les mottes, parce que donc là, le sol était devenu vraiment impraticable, mm. voilà, à cause de mauvais labours. Mm. Uh, there exists, then, and there is a lecture called 2011, from last year, uh, that has been translated into many languages and in which there are pictures um, and you, those who can speak English can order one in English from us. Uh, that they have giant equipment. You need 200 horsepower tractors giant to bre break this up. And the worst to do to soil is to make dust. If you make dust every year when it rains, it goes to harder concrete until they can't, can't use it. And this is some of the best soil in Europe. He said that this is supposed to be one of the best soils in Europe, but the equipment that is used, which is an equipment of enormous, has more than bad than good, because it creates the poussière, and that for a soil, what is the worst, is to create the poussière. Could you 